Alright, yo guys, it's recording. It's recording. Okay. Um, today I'm just be doing some like overview of um how bad this Oxford paper that I sat is, because I can't lie, I sat for unis in year one. I knew I knew none of the syllabus. I found there was a syllabus after I sat the paper, but don't worry about that. But yeah, every most of the questions on this paper were either stupid, or I didn't I, I didn't even know the content for it. Like well, it wasn't taught at school. And also, I'm like one of those people who um, no one really helped me for any of us. So yeah. And I don't want people telling me, oh, you could have just done it by yourself, research. Look here, when I was doing IB, yeah, I'm, I was kind of distracted then. Uh, and then, uh, okay, I was mostly playing games on the side, but don't worry about it. But yeah, so this is Oxford, Matt. It's a two hour and a half paper. I saw past papers, and yeah, I was cooked. So like, you know what, let me just go into, let me just give an overview of how I thought when I sat this. And how I pulled off a 66. Which sounds in, impossible, given what I just told you. But you'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm known for clutch at this point. I mean, l last video I made a result reaction video, clutching my B grades. This I also clutched for an imperial offer, and they didn't even give me step. They did not give me the step requirement, which is crazy. But look, question A. They gave some like random numbers. Asked me to add them. I was like, you know what, cool. Which close inch? I was like, cool. Let me just calculate them. One of those close inch. I think the key was just the number inside here. It didn't matter what you're adding to this, just number side here, you need it closer to like um like ten or hundred, power of ten. Anyways. This one, I guess this moved on. Turns out I was right. And yeah, intuition, I guess. This one. I think I tried to use common sense of this one. I was like, you know what? This it, this looks like the answer. The rest don't. I think I remember I just I looked I looked at the length of this, which was like root two. And I realized this was the radio of like one side, this was the radio of another. This was like some smaller thing, it was some other small thing. It looked like that, picked it, why not? This, I got it wrong. I actually tried to attempt it, but I was getting too lost with the numbers. Imagine, they want you to square root this number, realizing when you square root a number, you get 2 and minus 2 for 4. Then you get two separate equations, and you've got to keep doing the thing. And if I show you the mark scheme, yeah. You expect me to do that for a full marker, like come on, man. But and obviously I, I got it wrong because I was I was thinking too wrong. I think I picked like six, and yeah, this is this is the one question it looked like I, I knew I could do it. Yeah, I, I don't. This I guessed A immediately. The rest just looked dumb. I'll be wrong. I think there was I wrote some formula down. I had oh I, I was divided by two by something. Did not know where the squared came from. I'll be wrong. I just guessed it. Um, it was right. This one, I actually got this one. I realized if you t multiply this and this, you get 1 minus 4x squared to power 5. Multiply that by this, you get 1 minus 16x squared to power 5. I used the binomial theorem formula, whatever, and I got this. So I was pretty happy. Um, this, yeah, this is a dumb question. I, I put it depends on A. I, look, you can read for yourself. Just, who in their right mind makes these three formulas and has the audacity to make a third one? Like, what, what did the quadratic do to you, man? But anyway, just move on. This was China's largest area. So, I, I had this open. Because, just to show you, this formula right here came to my mind out of nowhere while I was reading the question. Don't ask how I remember this. And I even put, like, S equals... It's actually A plus B plus C over 2. No clue where that came from. Just came to my mind. And I solved it. And it was... It was a uh, T, if I remember. Yeah, 10, 10, 15. That was that was a clutch. Um, this, I actually solved it. They gave too much information. I was like, they they gave me too much. Like, there's no way I can't solve this, and I actually got E. So I was pretty happy. This dumb question. I think I like. Come on, you just, just read it, read it for yourself. Like you get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's tapped when they put an example of a full function with, with minus pi. Like, come on, you could put minus a half. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um. And yeah, I realized, I saw this, I saw this function, I tried to sketch it, it was a step function. I wrote some random formula, I got three. I was like, you know what, it, it looks like the formula that I need. Look at the mark scheme now. I did not get that. But I got three, so you know I'll take it. Um, next. Oh yeah, so this was like one of the big questions. These were just like, either common sense or just really dumb. So this was actually one of the questions, I think I got... I, I think I did not get that, but I got everything. 
This, I just sketched it. I spent like, I think like five minutes on this one just to make sure I got the sketch right. This just, it's a one mark. It's kind of easy to do. Again with this, easy to do. Like you just, just use what they give you, you know. Um, this one, okay, so for this one, I remember, since they gave me all of this, I was like, you know what? Let me just divide by X squared and everything. Turns out I was right. I think I got like, I got quadratic in terms of like X plus one over X, like squared, take away something like X plus one over X. I, I said that equal to U, solve the quadratic, and then I got like bare solutions. I mean, you have to solve X plus one over X, because it's U, equals your root, the solutions you got for you. Solve that, so look, I'll show you. Um, yes, yeah, so this was calm. See, that was calm, that was calm. And the, yeah, I was just going crazy. And yeah, I actually got those. And this question, was the stupidest question I've ever seen. Find all real solutions. I was like, you know what, cool. Let me divide by x squared or something, or x to the 5. Nothing was working. So I was like, cool. Let me see. Let me... I kept trying things. Then I think I tried... I, pl I tried to plug in 2 or something. Didn't work. I tried plug in a half. Then they had the audacity to do this. First, know that x equals a solution. Look here. And when I'm in exam here, I'm not adding up all this here. But now that I realise... I think I've seen too much symbols. 1, 2, minus 5, minus 1, 7, 5, minus 2, minus 1. I can't, like, I did not even clock that. Because, you know, exam setting. And I was so stupid, I, I didn't get any fan marks. Maybe I got one, who knows. Yeah, maybe for trying. Did you even have a mark for trying? Yeah, yeah, it's just, just, just good. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, I can't, like, they, they actually got tons of... Yeah, anyways. Uh, this, this was a beautiful question, because my guessing technique was on point. First, you don't expect to know, because I did IB, man knows a bit about cosine and all that. So yes, uh, yeah, pretty much. Without the fifth the maximum value, one. That was it, I wrote, I wrote one. Look, let me, let me see in the, what they even have. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. Max was one, there you go. This day, they start going a bit crazy, but you know, I was like, let me let set this equal to you, because I realize if if you put plug one in again, because I try to have a maximum value of that, it gave me like zero. I was like, whoa, what are you trying to do? And then if I plug in minus one for like minimum value, it was like minus two, so it's like somewhere in between. I made the quadratic, I differentiate it, it's equal to zero, I think, and I got the maximum. I think it's like a half or something. Okay, so yeah, so they made the quadratic, and yeah, they got the value. So when equals half, and it was one over four. This, this is actually, I guess, I think I, I think it was just this number to the power of five. That, that, that was it. And this one, I call it, I was guessing random stuff, and was crazy. I got this from doing random stuff. I don't know how I clutched that, I'll be real. I think I just, I, I made bare assumptions just using guessing techniques and I literally got that. I was like, and I thought it was wrong. Well, I think, oh, I got this form. I found that later that was, that was answer. I was like, what, what the hell? So yeah, that was another clutch I did. Um, you'll see why I really need these marks. Next, the most dumbest question I've ever seen in my life. They're given this quadratic here. Pick the point. Obviously, that's on a that's a point because a half e squared. Then they had some L normal and all this waffle. Five comes of B times of A and D. You may think I'm thinking why are they give me a six marker immediately. Like I'm not good. At, we added no geometry in IP. Like at that time, I added no geometry at all. I've seen this. I'm like yo yo. You expect me to, to know all this? What? Like, it what annoys me, and there's probably people out there who actually like proper revised and actually was able to do this. But I was bare annoyed. There was not accessible at all. Even if you if you're good at math. And you didn't like revise this. Like it was, I was annoying. Then there was this. I was like, you know what? Cut, I'm not doing that. And I kind of this. I didn't realise you could just use this answer. I skipped it all. I I, I was just bare annoyed at this question. I think I got maybe two marks from that maybe two marks so yeah that was inaccessible and this 
also had the audacity to give me Fibonacci, yeah? I can't lie. Like, let's say you're, you're on the exam, yeah? I saw this. I was like, give me those three marks. Crazy. I, I was so gassed. Because man knows about Fibonacci. I'm just adding numbers. I see this one. You know, crazy repeatedly in terms of N, how many dishes you calculate FN. I had absolutely no clue how to do that. Because I was confused what I was trying to say. I used it repeatedly. I mean, this, I was like, oh, it's going to be like two or something. But it was like FN. So I thought it was just two. But apparently it was... N minus two additions. I, I don't know why they got that. Wait, and you can't give any answers. Yeah, I can't. I put two. Yeah, you know, I'm just... Yeah, it's just two. Um, then for this. Then it came to this. It's complete skip. I think... Oh, wait, actually. I think I got that. Oh, wait, no. I got S1 and S2. I missed one case because I was, yeah, I was a bit dumb. And yeah, absolutely skip. Whoever actually aced this, like, got this stuff right, please hit me up. Teach me your ways. Because I've never done this stuff in my life. Okay. You can make to do this. So yeah, as you can see, I was pretty much capped to, like, I've got, like, one mark here. And, like, two marks here. Oh, wait, no. Four marks here with the beautiful question. I love that one. Uh, Four question. So yeah, pretty much, and yeah, that's how I got my 66, and that's, that's, that's the wrap of, uh, August MAT 2023, luckily Imperial are using Tamiya now, I'm happy they're using it, because Tamiya at least you can really tell if people are like, genius level, and like, I, they, I, you can't really guess the answers, this, the amount of guesses I did was crazy, but yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it, and uh, obviously now, I'm actually locked in to actually, like, be good at maths, I'm doing build practice here and there, just to, you know, for uni level. And yeah, that's for my video. Whoever's thinking like this test in the future, good luck. Please do practice it. And like, not only really practice, just know your stuff. Like, I literally, I went into it, no nothing, I got 66. So you could definitely get like 70 plus. But yeah, that's for this video. Go for your exams. And yeah, that's how I go into uh, uni. See.